It's the morning man who'll be the post OJ. Get ready for a turnaround. It's the morning man who'll be the post OJ. It's gonna be a blessed day. It's here to empower you. It's here to inspire you. It's here. the morning man who be the post OJ. Get ready for a turn around. It's the morning man who be the post OJ. It's gonna be a blessed day. It's the morning man who be the post OJ. Get ready for a turn around. It's the morning man who be the post OJ. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Good morning, saints. Welcome to Morning Manna with Apostle Juliana. Wow, what a morning, Jesus is Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made, and surely we are going to be glad and rejoice in Him. Let us raise our hands in prayer. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you. We worship you. Give you honor. Give you praise. We say, blessed be your holy name. We say, thanks be unto God, who always causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus. We give you honor. We give you praise. We give you adoration this morning. Thank you for life. Thank you for sustenance. Thank you for the blast. Thank you for the crossing. Father, thank you for the redemption of sin. Father, we thank you. We give you honor. We say thank you. Father, thank you for we know now we are participators. We are partakers of your divine nature. We say thank you. Father, we say thank you for we know we're alien to your kingdom. But now we are also we are also part of the commonwealth of God. We say thank you. Father, we say thank you for now. We know we are priests and kings to our God. We say thank you. We give you honor. Give you praise. We know that we can do all the things through Christ who strengthen us. No matter what you face, no matter what we go through, we say thank you for that ability. Yes, for that capability that we do everything in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name, Father, thank you, Lord, for healing which you gave us on the cross of Calvary. In the mighty the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we give you honor, we give you praise. We bless your holy name in Jesus' name. We thank you, we give you honor, we give you adoration. Thank you for the protection in the blood, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for the remission of sin in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We give you honor, we give you praise. Father, thank you, Lord, for now our spirits are enlightened to God. We now have eternal life. We say thank you. Father, thank you for your love which has showed abroad in our hearts. We say thank you we say thank you we say thank you in jesus name amen oh good morning saints welcome to el shaddai world ministry jesus is lord thank you for joining us this is morning manna with apostle jay yes this morning we are going to talk about the fruit of the spirit called kindness which i said earlier is almost like goodness but kind i mean i mean we are talking about goodness which is almost like kindness but you know it's there's a little bit different which i want us just to discuss today as we move on why do we emphasize on the fruit of the spirit as I said earlier, the fruit of the Spirit talked about the character, our character, you know, the character of Christ, which is supposed to be our character. So when we live and move in the, in the, in the fruit of the Spirit, you know, we become Christ-like. So this morning, I just want to exalt you, just encourage you, keep put. Yes, we are here for some weeks, yes, with the same topic, but it's important for us as believers that we have to live Christ-like lives so that we don't slide back so that we are victorious because the world is waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God. The world is waiting to see the goodness in us. The world is waiting to see the Christness in us in our lives and in whatever we do. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. So we want to go to our scripture which is in Galatians chapter 5 verse 22. Glory to Jesus as we started. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The fruit of the Spirit, yes, include 
you know, include love. Yes, include, you know, peace. It includes long suffering. It also includes goodness, uh, you know, goodness. So today we are going to talk about goodness. We always say God is good and we say all the time. So today our emphasizing, our, our emphasis, or our emphasis is on the fruit of the spirit goodness may somebody type for me the goodness oh hallelujah glory to jesus it is important for us to exhibit that the fruit of the spirit which is goodness hallelujah glory to jesus hallelujah goodness and kindness they are almost the same but there's a difference between goodness and kindness hallelujah glory to jesus hallelujah glory to jesus i just want to describe goodness goodness is a bit more than than kindness there's a little bit there's a little bit of a difference there in the original meaning i know we always say everything is good it was a good day it was a good sermon it was a good meal it was a good state yes that word is used all everywhere but i want just to zero in the goodness which is the fruit of the spirit the way is described in the in the in the word of god hallelujah glory to jesus so this goodness as a fruit it has got particular qualities which we want to emphasize as believers hallelujah glory to jesus it is more than just um, you know excellence of, of of character it is character energized expressing itself in active good so when you're talking about goodness there's an active good there's a way of action there's an action which we have to do you know you know you know you know to, to do when i talking about goodness and also goodness in the word of god it implies a point of correction you know that we correct people or we correct each other hallelujah it doesn't not spare correction to produce good from a person so when a parent is rebuking the child or correcting a child that's an act of goodness you know you know if you rebuke somebody if you correct somebody it's an act of goodness hallelujah glory to jesus glory to jesus so when you're correcting your child you are being responsible for goodness to come when we went to the word of god we can check what the bible says when jesus entered in the temple and he was clear in the temple he was using the whip to move people out of the temple there was an act of goodness the intent was for the for the good of the people who were around so when you're talking about goodness you know it talks about us it talks about us you know you know helping each other to be good to be in line with the word of god to do what the word of god tells us to do so goodness or the gift of the spirit they don't promote error so when you correct, correct somebody a point of correction it's an act of goodness so sometimes when you're talking to somebody you might say somebody something which they don't like but it's an act of goodness because you are correcting them according to the word of god i hope we got that part hallelujah glory to jesus glory to jesus it's a set of excellence in doing right so you tell people things so that they can act right so that they can do the right things so that they can do the positive things to them it might look like it's a negative act but you are telling them so that they can live in the time right so when you are correcting your child that's an act of goodness when you are putting in for them input in an organization around people which might seem people might think ah this is too much but as long as it's in line with the word of god as long as it's promote the word of god it's an act of goodness Oh, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. So it produces rebuke. It talks about rebukes. It talks about correcting others. It talks about telling people the truth in love. You are not being good. When you talk to your friend and they are doing wrong and you tell them everything is okay when things are wrong and when they are not there, you talk about them, you scold them with other people. That's not being good. That's the opposite of goodness. Goodness is correcting people without fear, but in love without harshness but in love without without i mean without without laughing at them but in love so when you correct anyone that's why the bible says we have to correct each other in love we have to rebuke each other in kindness it is expected for us as believers that we do that it's an act of goodness oh glory to jesus hallelujah so that's another element of goodness which i wanted to emphasize today we go to romans chapter 15 verse 4 14 Romans chapter 15 verse 14 Romans chapter 15 
verse 14, the Bible tells us, Now, I myself am confident concerning you, my brethren, that you also are full of goodness. You also are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge, able also to diminish one another. Paul likens or links goodness eh, to full knowledge and diminish one another, encouraging one another. So with the, the, he says, you know, that you are also you are also full of goodness. He's talking to his beloveds that you are also full of goodness. And if you are full of goodness, you are in sure in a position to be full of knowledge and also full of encouraging one another. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. So the foundation of goodness are two things there. You know, full of knowledge, not puffed up knowledge, but the good knowledge of the word of God. Hallelujah. He talks about full of knowledge the knowledge of the word of god so goodness when we talk about goodness we are talking about building each other so that we can build each other you know you know not destroy each other so this if we are full of goodness we build we adopt each other we encourage each other he says i accept expect you to be full of goodness so what am i saying to each to, to, to us this morning when we are talking about goodness it's knowledge which encourage the fellow beloved brother it's knowledge which builds somebody out. It's not knowledge which is puffed up as it's written in First Corinthians chapter eight, verse one. It talks about knowledge puff, puff, puff ups. So that's not what you're talking about when you talk about goodness. It's knowledge which doesn't destroy. It's knowledge which helps somebody out. It's knowledge which seek the good result of another. There are people out there, friends, relatives, church mates, you know, they come to advise in people's marriage, but they want them to be destroyed. They advise in business, but their advice is not good. There are lots of people out there. There are movies. There are, I mean, you know, you know, because of this social media, you can access anything and you might think it's for your good. What Ever you've got access to, and if it's in contrary to the word of God, if it's in contrary for your betterment, it's not good to destroy you. If it's a marriage counselor who leads to divorce, it's not good. If it's whatever is if somebody in business will lead you to destroy your, 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 your integrity, it's not good. So, when you're talking about goodness, is that informing of others, is that helping of others with an intent of the betterness of or good of others? Oh, glory to Jesus! Oh, hallelujah! It can only be done according to the knowledge of the word of God. It can only be done upon the true truth. And the true truth is not any act in any country. It's not any whatever. It's not any movement besides the word of God. Oh, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. So goodness, I mean, display a check and guide of knowledge to build. A check and guide of knowledge to build. So whatever you are doing, I'm helping and guiding and building somebody. That's goodness. If your friends, they tell you to do wrong, to be bitter, to hurt, to destroy others, that's not goodness. That's not goodness at all. It might seem good in the world's eyes. Yeah, it's good for you to revenge. That's what they'll say. It's good for you. You left him. It's good for you that you not know you dump them. That's the goodness of this world. We are talking about the goodness of the fruit of the spirit. It upholds the word of God. It upholds what the kingdom of God says. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. So this goodness built. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. It builds. It expands. Hallelujah. So we must be filled of the correct goodness, which is the goodness of the word of God. We must be filled with the correct goodness, which is the goodness of the word of God. When you rebuke somebody, it's not that you hate somebody. There are people, goodness is not, doesn't allow compromising goodness doesn't allow evil because you don't want to be hurt because you don't want to be mis misappropriated you know that's not the goodness of the word of god oh hallelujah glory to jesus hallelujah it talks about the virtue of equipping to the point you know you know of improvement so when you talk about goodness we are talking about somebody we have got to a virtue you know a virtue to improve you know to improve the situation to be its best when jesus chased the people from the 
temple he had uh, he wanted the, his father's house was a house of prayer so when he entered there he just sat and look who sit there and look what was happening he had to take action so that there could be restoration in somebody I mean, in that temple, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, say, can I have a better amen? Can I have a better amen? Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. So goodness is strong. Goodness is not weak. As the father take charge in that family, that's goodness. As the mother take charge of, um, on those children, that's goodness. Whatever God has blessed you in an organization, take charge of what God has given you. It's goodness. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Amen. So goodness, you know, talks about also correcting. Goodness, it talks about also telling you know, you know, you know, you know, people, the truth, hallelujah, glory to Jesus, hallelujah, glory to Jesus, amen, hallelujah, let's go to see the other places where Jesus showed goodness, let's go to Luke chapter 10, verse 38 to, 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 to 42, it talks about Mary and Martha, Luke chapter 10, verse 38 to 32, it talks about Mary and Martha, hallelujah, glory to Jesus, glory to Jesus, Jesus says, and they, they continued their journey. He entered in a village where two ladies, whose name was Mary and Martha, welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary, who sat beside the Lord at the feet, listening to him speaking. Martha begged with the serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to serve? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to to him in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is there is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen to do it better. It is to, it, to, to do that part. And it is not to take care from me. What am I saying? There, there was a, a, a Jesus had to help, you know, you know, help this two sisters there is a quality of goodness the one was sitting by no jesus she was running around jesus I and mean, she was running around to save jesus but there is a quality of goodness jesus was full frank you know you know was frank you know to 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 martha you know jesus helped martha to tell him you know the truth you know you know it was the way together but you know, he had to tell what was beneficial what was more beneficial was to make sure that you know you know you know, you know she sits down in the sit down with jesus she sit down with jesus and to be helped more what is more beneficial and jesus said she has chosen to do what's better that goodness yes all the way it were okay you know she was trying to save around it was good but there was something which was more better in our lives sometimes god gives us people who tells us the, the truth that acts of goodness they make us see where we are and where we are supposed to go sometimes you know we might even be doing better but there is discernment in all situations so that situation shows that you know you know no that's an act of goodness which jesus did to this way to this to this woman and what am i saying to you this morning i want to encourage somebody under the sound of my voice as you go around people you know what does god want them to be here god we are led by the spirit that the the true goodness of God pop out of our spirit. There are some things which are beneficial, but there are some things which are best for us. When you, uh, whatever we do concern our situation, may we wish the best for everyone around us. May we wish the best for us, for the people God has yes, 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 blessed in our lives. Oh, glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. So it is important for us to know what we are supposed to do. It is important for us to tell people what they are supposed to do because we have to choose the best, but it can only be done through the Spirit of God. Can somebody type goodness in everything we do? You know, we have to make sure that you know goodness is 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 <clears throat> is, is much in our lives hallelujah glory to jesus hallelujah glory to jesus glory to jesus so it is important for us that we must put you know in you know goodness in our lives hallelujah i want them to go to galatians chapter 3 verse 1 to 11 galatians chapter 3 the bible says it all foolish galatians 
my brethren saying in all stupid directions all foolish directions who has bewitched you before those eyes jesus christ was publicly portrayed as crucified i want to learn only this from you did you receive the spirit from the work of the lord or from faith that you had are you so stupid that beginning in the spirit you now end in the flesh did you experience many things in vain if indeed it is in vain that does then the one who supplies the spirit in you and work and what mighty deeds among you do you do so from what of the law or from from faith thus abraham believed god and it was credited to him as righteousness verse 7 says realize them that it is those who have faith who are children of abraham script which some in advance that god would justify the gentiles by faith foretold the good news to abraham saying through you you shall be a blessed nation consequently those who have faith are blessed along with abraham who is of faith for all who depend on the work of the law depend on curse as it is written cursed is he who cursed is everyone who does who does not prevail in doing all things which are written in the book of the law and that no one is justified before god by by the law is clear for the one who is righteous lives by faith what am i saying the right which is righteous lives by faith and faith comes by the word of god what am i saying so when we are talking about the goodness of god we have to make sure whenever we rule in our lives whatever we do in our lives we have to be controlled by the word of god the word of god must be the key in whatever we do so when we talk about goodness we have to make sure whatever advice whatever we do or wherever we go wherever we go around the word of god must be supreme in whatever we do in our lives if we go to romans chapter 7 verse 18 to 21 says hallelujah it says i know that nothing good lives in me that is in my sinful nature for i have the desire to do what is what is good but i cannot carry it out for what i do is not is not the good i want to do no the evil i do not want to do this i keep doing it now i do what i do not want to do i no longer do it but it is the thing living in me in our sinful self human nature there is a motive not to do good what is the emphasis i want to to tell you that we have got the sinful nature you know you know which works operate in the flesh not in our spirit so what must we do as believer if we want goodness to be seen in our day to day lives we must hang our lives on the word of god as we read in the book of galatians it says all you foolish galatians have been started in the spirit don't end in the flesh how do we end in the flesh not living by faith how do we live by faith by hanging our life on the word of god so in concerning guidance if you want goodness in your family go to the word if you want goodness in whatever you know you know in your projects go to the word goodness in your marriage go to the word what am i saying we must anchor our lives on the goodness of the word of god the best way for us to define goodness is not in the way we do things the best way we have to define goodness is according to the word of god all oh, glory to jesus hallelujah it's only through the word of god that we saw the real goodness in our lives romans chapter 15 verse 14 tells us that full romans chapter 15 verse 14 tells us that full of goodness hallelujah complete in knowledge and competent in instruction in in, in instructing one another full of goodness com, complete in knowledge and competent competent to instruct one another so when we talk of goodness we are talking about competence in instructing one another may god give us competence i was reading niv version competence in instructing one another competence in instructing one another that's the key word of goodness i want us to mark that 
competent in instructing one another. We have to pray for ourselves. If we are moved, live in the fruit of the Spirit, we must be competent in instructing one another. Whether they're counseling a marriage, whether they're counseling somebody getting tired of the situation, they will be competent. And how do we become competent? Not through our experience, not through our neighbor's experience, not what came in your life. What does the Word of God say? Our competence can only come through the Word of God. Our competence can only come through the knowledge of the Word of God. Oh, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. So we must be speaking truthful to one another. How we speak truthful to one another through the Word of God. If we go to the Word of God, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 25, it says, speaking truthful, not singing in anger, speaking truthful truthful speaking truthful we have to be competent speaking truthful to one another we have to be truthful to one another that goodness oh glory to jesus glory to jesus hallelujah hallelujah glory to jesus if we go to verse 29 ephesians chapter 4 verse 29 says you know we are supposed to be imitators of god imitators of god in christ hallelujah through our living in love for one another so what what must we do if we want to have goodness in our lives? We have to align ourselves to the Holy Spirit. We have to align ourselves to the Word of God so that we do not grieve the Holy Spirit. So that we do not grieve the Holy Spirit. So what I want to emphasize today is when we talk about goodness, we are talking about instructing one another through the Word of God. There's so much deception going in the church. No matter what is said, even if it's said by the somebody whom you believe, you have believed for a long time, if it's not in line with the word of God, we mustn't believe it. If it's not in line with the word of God, we mustn't believe it. Goodness is doing things truthful and they must be be in line with what the word of God. They must be in line with the word of God. May whatever we do be in line with the word of God. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may we show acts of goodness. May we send words of goodness to one another. You know, the Bible tells us that God is good all the time. God is good all the time. He rebukes us through his word. He sent his word to rebuke us. You know, and there's goodness in our God. His goodness, you know, you know, you know, you know, is not compromising. Is goodness in our the last let let me say it's not spoiling when we say God is good, God is not spoiling us, he's still an upright God, he still stands by his principles, he still stands by his his promises, yes, even concerning our lives, we must understand that God stands by his promises. Let goodness flow from you as you counsel others. Let goodness flow from you as you talk to others. Let good from the flow from you as you teach others. You know, let goodness flow from you as you raise those children. Let us raise our hands and pray. Father, we thank you. Yes, we thank you. We thank you. Father, as we go around our lives, Father, we step aside to help others. We step aside, you know, you know, you know, you know to do, I mean, to say the truth to others. We step aside to show, you know, to instruct others properly. Help us. Let our goodness come from your spirit. Let us be directed by your spirit in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, in Jesus' name, may you make us strong to say the truth, to raise our family, to raise whoever has given us our businesses, our ministries, to do whatever has called us in this earth with the act of goodness, the true goodness of the truthfulness you had in your ministry, Lord Jesus Christ, the goodness of the Lord. Yes, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for our lives, for whatever you, 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 you instruct us to do. Give us the grace yes, to, be, to be strong in the word, not to please anyone, but to make sure we do what you've said to us in the word of God. God bless you, said Good morning. Have a great morning. I just want somebody under the sound of my voice. If you are not born again, I want to pray with you to receive Jesus as the Lord and Savior of your life. There's no way we can act in goodness because our God is good and this goodness we are talking about comes from the Lord. If you are not born again, I want you to say this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Be the Lord and the Savior of my life. With my heart, I believe. With my mouth i confess that jesus christ is lord god bless you good morning jesus is lord we can go in the peace of the lord amen
I can find nobody greater. There's nobody greater than you. You are the reason I live. I can find nobody greater. Nobody greater. Help me, son. Strong. Oh, 